Hey everyone, Frank Menard here and welcome to this week's video. So this week, I just first want to start off by sharing with you uh, some exciting activities that I uh, completed over the last oh, four or five days. Uh, so I took a trip up uh, to New Jersey, New York, right there on the Hudson River. Uh, we were actually stayed in New Jersey looking at the New York skyline. Uh, and it was an event that was put on by the Napoleon Hill Institute. I mentioned it in my last video, Grow Rich with Peace of Mind. And uh, it was a gathering of uh, just, just over 100 people, uh, individuals that are involved in or are thinking about becoming involved in the, the Napoleon Hill Institute uh, and helping us spread the word of the, of the principles uh, that Napoleon Hill wrote in his book, Think and Grow Rich. Uh, it was really exciting. In fact, it made me think about today's topic because, uh, you know, in today's day of technology and Zoom and Facebook and all social media, LinkedIn, all that stuff, I think we tend to lose some of the natural touch of networking uh, that we can only be experienced in person, face to face, where you can actually touch each other. You know, so it was a really exciting uh, three and a half days. I uh, learned a lot of good information, but I wanted to bring this message to you today in regard to the power of networking. When I'm talking about networking, I'm you know, I guess you could call when you go to maybe a chamber of commerce event or something like that, uh, where there's a gathering of people and you can pass some business cards. A lot of people, when I say networking, that's what they think of. And that's fine. Uh, one of the goals that I have that when I go to a networking event, I don't go there to collect a whole bunch of business cards. Uh, I try to maybe collect four or five business cards, meaning if I'm going to spend an hour networking, I'm going to have a meaningful conversation, five to 10 minutes uh, with at least four to five people at that networking event. I'm going to walk away with their business cards. That's certainly uh, an easy enough number for me to follow up on over the next week. And that's the key to networking is you meet new people, you follow up to do some more relationship building. So the, the goal of going to a networking event is to identify three to four, maybe five people at most where you can have a conversation that allows you the opportunity to follow up over the next five days after the event is completed. So the goal is to now schedule a one-to-one -one meeting. Some people call it a business-to-business -business meeting. I call it a one-to-one -one meeting. So it's you and one of those individuals that you contacted. So you're going to make a phone call, send an email, send a text, whatever, however you want to communicate to actually invite them to meet you for breakfast, coffee, lunch, whatever it is that you want. So you can spend anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour getting to know each other a little bit better. So this is an in-person event. None of that Zoom stuff, all right? Let's do this in person. So when you get to the event, when you get to the breakfast, the coffee, or the lunch, whatever it is that you scheduled, I want you to remember one thing. Do not sell. You're not there to sell anything. Most people think when you get together for a one-to-one -one or a business-to-business -business meeting, uh, it's, it's an opportunity for you to, for me to sell my wares and let you know all the things that I can do for you. I don't want you to do any of that. In fact, many years ago, I read, maybe it wasn't so many years ago, maybe two years ago, I read an article about a real estate broker who during uh, the, the real estate crash of 06, 08, uh, he really needed to take some action to, to save his business. And so what he did is he made a commitment to conduct 90 one-to-one -one meetings in 90 days. So that's one a day for 90 days. And in those meetings, he shared, he asked four questions. And here they are. First, question number one. What is your biggest goal for this year? Number two. What's your biggest challenge or obstacle that's causing you some concern as you approach that goal, as you try to achieve that goal. And of course, at, after each one of these questions, you're just allowing the person to respond. Question number three, what have you tried so far? And question number four, how can I help? What's your biggest goal for this year? What's your biggest challenge? What have you tried so far? And how can I help? Those four questions will allow the other individual 
30 to 45 minutes of opportunity to tell you, to talk to you. He's, he or she is doing all the talking and you're just listening. Once you've asked those questions, it's only natural that the person you're meeting with is probably going to ask you a few questions. Or maybe, what can I do to help you? You might start out with just, what can I do to help you? You've had all this time to listen to me. What can I do to help you? So that's probably going to happen. So be prepared for that. But don't sell. I want to throw in a bonus question. At the end of that meeting, or at the end of the questions, that conversation, I want you to ask that person this question. Who do you know that I should know? And once they've answered that question, they're going to give that some thought. Maybe there's somebody in their relationship network that they know that could probably use the services that you provide. They're going to give you a name. And then you're going to ask them to take one more step. Before today ends, would you please send an email and copy me as a way of introduction to Mr. Jones, who you think I should be, I should meet. Just make the introduction. I'll take care of the rest. Now, if you think about that, you've just spent 45 minutes, maybe an hour, getting to learn a whole lot about an individual that you met at a networking event. So you're making it uh, something of value. You, you, you're actually going to get something out of this. Number two, you've asked for an introduction to somebody else who might know. So maybe they're going to give you a person so you can set up your next one-to-one -one meeting. Number three, they did all the talking. So in their mind, you are a great conversationalist because you weren't talking, you were listening. We learn so much more when we listen rather than when we talk. It also brings up a, a, a thing in my mind in regard to a book I read many, many years ago, How to Sell Anything to Anyone. And in that book, they talked about the law of 250. And the theory is that everybody you meet will know at least 200 to 250 people well enough that if you do a really, really good job, you bring really good value in the services that you provide, they will probably talk to those 200 to 250 people. So every time you meet someone new and start to build a relationship, which will create opportunities for you to provide the service that you provide, you're getting an opportunity to get a referral or at least to be exposed to hundreds, if not thousands of other people. That's what networking is all about, building relationships. You meet them at an event, you schedule a one-to-one, -one, and you start to nurture and develop the relationship. And eventually, they will need the services or they'll know someone who needs your services that you provide. All right? So that's the message for this week. It's all about networking. Four questions. Make sure you get one-to-one. -one. Technology is great for kind of setting the stage for some of this stuff. But to be honest with you, nothing replaces flesh on flesh right? Meet people in person. Hey, look, if this value, if this uh, video brought you some value, you got some good information, please implement the information, share the information with your friends and, and your colleagues. If you know somebody who could use my services, I'd really appreciate that referral. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you get all my, all my future messages. Share it with your friends. And thank you so much for meeting me today. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I know this week is going to be awesome. We'll talk to you soon.